Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, um, I did want to do a proper review for this wave of Deadpool Marvel Legends, uh, the strong guy, build a figure wave. So uh, gonna get to it. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, take a look at the articulation, the molds, the paint, all of that good stuff that us collectors like to be very particular about. So. We will get into it, uh, take a look at some accessories with each figure as well, of course, and then get on to the comparisons with different figures, just to kind of get a different scale comparison for each figure and uh, show how much space it might take up in your display. So let's get to it. And starting off with the Sheikla figure, which of course is the first release of this character in the Legends line. Um, there is a lot of reuse with this figure. I believe this is the same cape that we got with uh, the few Storm figures we've got recently, the white suit and the black suit. So, um, reuse there. I think these bracelets are also from that Storm figure. And um, other than that, of course, I think new head sculpt, um, the jewelry, the belt, everything like that is brand new. Um, <laughs> this is... Sadly, one of my least favorite figures in the wave because it cannot just stand on its own. Um, these heels are driving me crazy because not only are they hard to stand on their own, but also the articulation in the ankle is very stiff. So I can only get it at certain angles, but you can switch the feet around a little bit and eventually get it to stand for a while. But the uh, shortest breeze or bump of a table will knock this figure over instantly. So typical articulation when it comes to arms, um, as you would expect for a female Marvel Legends figure, very limited, no double elbows, just a single elbow, um, no butterfly joints, uh, you get the double knee, and I mean, that's about it. There is the uh, waist articulation as well that we normally see with female Marvel Legends, so. And of course the open hands, which apparently is the only hands we ever get with uh, female Marvel Legends. So that's basically Sheikla, nothing too crazy, but the big part about getting this figure is the accessory. And of course that accessory is Jeff the Landshark, um, who is a character I was not aware of before getting into this wave and seeing the promo pics. Um, apparently he's been in quite a few Deadpool and Gwenpool comics, so. Sorry for the focus there. Hopefully that'll work a little bit better here. So we got Jeff the Land Shark, um, just big hunk of plastic with some paint on it. Um, yeah, no articulation, but uh, good for the obscure character fans if there are some. I know I am, so cool to have a character like this on the shelf. And then next up we have, see, see what I mean? It, it, it just, there's, there's no hope. There's no hope in the Sheikla figure standing up. So we're just gonna have her lay down for the rest of the video. Um, but yes, Pirate Deadpool is the next up. Um, basically reuse, I believe, for the most part, it just has this giant skirt on it. I'm not sure if this top part is new or not, but there is some detailing in the sculpt, so that could be new. Brand new Pirate Deadpool head with a hat that is not removable. Comes with this gun, which is brand new for the most part. Get a old-fashioned pirate looking gun um, he also comes with a normal katana that we've seen with most Deadpool figures as well as a pirate looking sword he also has these two holsters in the back where you can put the two swords uh, I did not realize that the first time I opened it so thankfully if you don't want to be hanging on to those um, accessories loose you can always put the swords all the way through the back and that way you have more room for accessories in your storage because I know mine is running out of room and then normal articulation as you expect double elbows no butterfly joints uh, double knees uh, normal articulation for ankles when it comes to legends so you can go down in the ankle rockers so I say the probably the only complaint would be I wish the wrist articulation would be for guns, so up and down would have been better than side to side. But uh, I think it's the same for this one as well. Yeah. Of course, another obscure character in the Deadpool universe. Um, I honestly did not know that Deadpool was a pirate at any point, but 
Um, cool to have a new uh, Deadpool figure that can fit onto the shelf. Of course, they're digging into the varieties because Deadpool figures seem to sell pretty well. So we got Pirate Deadpool. Um, I'd say this could end up being a peg warmer of the wave if people really aren't into the multiple Deadpools. But if you are a Deadpool fan, this is definitely for you. And next up we have Sunspot, who comes with those normal bubble accessories that you would expect for, I mean, any Marvel Legends figure at this point. They basically throw this in with anything they can, just because it's good reuse, I guess. So, I said in my unboxing video this could be used for Venom, so if you wanted to use it for your symbiote figures, this could be a good one to use for that. As for articulation, normal Bucky Cap mold, where he has double elbows, double knees, regular ankle articulation, and uh, a waist, which I just turned for the first time ever. So, a little tight out of the box, but um, yeah, for the most part, cool looking figure. Um, he does have some effects on the back of his shoulder, and uh, he's got the headband, and all brand new face sculpt with a very dark paint. So, cool figure for the wave. Um, this is another one we have not had in the Legends line, I believe. If we have, it's been a while, but uh, a good one to add to the X-Men shelf as my camera freaks the heck out. There we go. And next up, we have Warpath, which is the character I was looking forward to the most of this wave besides the build figure, him and Maverick, which I mentioned before. But here is Warpath. This is using a lot of the Omega Red body. Um, these shoulder pads actually are removable, if you guys did not know. You can take it off and take a look at his articulation. Um, he does have butterfly joints, which makes posing very nice, of course. And double elbows, wrist articulation, double knees, yeah. Highlight, of course, is the butterfly joints, which you guys know I'm a big fan of. Um, I will say, this particular sculpt of a figure would be the perfect size if they do a retro Venom figure for the retro Spider-Man wave. If they happen to do a second wave of that line, this would be a perfect body for Venom. So, because we could use a new Venom figure that isn't tiny or isn't monster. So, somewhere in between would be nice. Pirate Deadpool is leaning back. Now, Warpath does come with some extra hands, uh, some holding hands, like weapon hands, but he doesn't come with any weapons. So, I didn't actually bring a figure over that has some weapons that might actually be a good fit for Warpath, and that is the Drax figure that we've got a couple times. This one is the one that came with the Entertainment Earth box set for the Guardians. This knife, specifically, would be perfect for Warpath. I kind of wish we would have got some more. So I might end up actually using these knives for Warpath because this Drax figure does come with some extra knives that the movie Drax came with as well. And here is the Warpath with those weapons from Drax. And gotta say, it looks looks pretty good. Um, I, I wish Hasbro would have given us something like this. So if you have that Drax line around, definitely look at using these knives for Warpath because I'd say this fits the character pretty well. And next up we have Maverick, which is probably the surprise of the way for me. Um, I really like this figure. Um, a lot of it is new sculpt, which I do appreciate in the Legends. We don't always get that with this line, but uh, good sculpt for the most part and lots of new stuff, like I said. Um, he has this accessory around his neck, which is basically some sort of mouth breathing thing, which is definitely a comic reference that I do not remember at this current time, but uh, looks pretty cool with that on. Um, this gun is brand new, as I mentioned in my unboxing. And then this gun, I actually didn't recognize it at first, but it is the one from the Guardians of the Galaxy box set that Drax is from. This is Star-Lord's gun. So Star-Lord actually comes with two of these. So that is where this was first made. So cool figure. Um, this gun can slide nicely into the holster. Nice and snug, get that in there. Always good to have somewhere to store weapons. And um, no place to store this one, which is fine because I'll probably just have this as the primary gun for Maverick on the shelf. His backpack, these uh, tubes running into his head, which do not disconnect. Um, they actually don't disrupt the articulation as much as I thought they would. So you can still lean all the way back, 
And then if you move the mouthpiece away, you can look down. So um, I believe you can pop the head off, but I'm not gonna risk it because <laughs> I don't wanna rip these. So um, normal articulation otherwise, sadly no butterfly joints, which of course I would appreciate, but he does come with the up and down wrist articulation, which is always good with weapon characters. Um, yeah, and this one as well, up and down. So, uh, good articulation, can stand pretty well, no issues here. So, good figure, good sculpt, highly suggested. If you want to pick up one or two of the wave, I'd say either Warpath or Maverick. Next up we got Black Tom, who is another character I wasn't too familiar with, but after reading up, um, of course he's a villain in the X-Men comics, as well as a few other series. Um, I know he has something to do with uh, controlling plants, I believe. <laughs> so, got some poison ivy powers, apparently. So, comes with just this uh, skeleton staff. Just a little creepy. And uh, overall, pretty cool figure. Typical articulation, don't really need to go through that. You guys will know what to expect with these kind of legends. Um, head sculpt is brand new, which actually I wouldn't mind getting an extra one of these and kind of sawing down the goatee to be a... I guess a more modernized Tony Stark head sculpt. So, cool figure. Will definitely look good with the rest of my villains next to Juggernaut and whatnot. And then lastly, we have the blue and yellow Deadpool, who is a combination of the Juggernaut Deadpool and the body of the 90s throwback Deadpool. So, fun fact, um, actually, shout out to Mike the Hunter. Mike commented on my uh, video when I unboxed this wave saying how sick this version of Deadpool looked. The funny thing is, I actually had a figure on the way already in the mail to him, which was the extra one I got in the case. So, um, happy uh, to get you that surprise there, man. Um, I knew you're a big Deadpool fan, so I figured you would appreciate that very much. Um, definitely a good figure of the wave. Uh, it is two per case, like I said. So this one could be uh, hanging out as a peg warmer for a little bit, but honestly, it doesn't deserve to be a peg warmer if it does, because this figure has great articulation, great paint, great weapons, and uh, will definitely fit nicely into your X-Men display. Comes with these two swords, as we would expect with Deadpool figures. He also comes with this pistol, which I believe is new. I mentioned in my unboxing, it looks new, but if it's not, feel free to uh, comment what it would be from. That would be very appreciated. And of course, the shotgun that we get with a few other Marvel Legends, which I believe most of the Marvel Legends guns that we get are just shrunk down Nerf guns. If you look at a variety of different Nerf guns, they are definitely um, the type of models they use for Legends. And then articulation-wise, Deadpool has butterfly joints, double elbows. Um, the wrist articulation is side to side, unfortunately, so no up and down, which would have been nice. Um, double knees, regular articulation, and then ankles. Um, these little ankle bracelets, if you want to call them, uh, those are loose, so are the wrist ones, so you can move those out of the way if it hinders articulation. Uh, this neck piece strap thing, to hold the swords is from the um, Scooter uh, Deadpool that came with uh, Dogpool and Squirrelpool. So, some more reuse here. So, it's a combination of a few different Deadpools, but uh, I'm a big fan otherwise. And comparison's sake, here is the new Deadpool next to the 90s throwback Deadpool and the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool, which, of course, was my first one that I ever got. Um, both of those Deadpools are holding Fortnite guns, so if you are wondering what those weapons are from, they are from the uh, Jack Specific uh, Fortnite line. That is why I even bothered about the figures, because they look good with Legends. So, they do have a little bit of a comic book cartoony feel to them, but I think that fits with the aesthetic of the comic book characters for Legends. But the big guy you guys have wanted to see is Strong Guy. Um, I gotta say, um... When I first saw the promos for this character, I was pretty dang excited. Um, he's going to look perfect with the X-Factor crew, as well as with a variety of other different X-Men characters. But uh, if I pop the arm out, he does have some sort of joint in here that has a little bit of side-to-side -side movement. So it helps when he's like stretching his arms out like that. So I don't know if that's new or if it's been featured on other Build-A-Figures. 
And of course, here is Strong Guy next to a few of the other Deadpool Wave build of figures Sasquatch and Sauron. Um, we've got quite a few good uh, build of figures when it comes to the Deadpool Waves, so hopefully, they keep this kind of thing up giving us both figures that we really want and that fit in with quite a few other characters. We're still waiting for some uh, caveman style like X-Men figures to go along with Sauron, so hopefully that will come sooner or later. I know there's that old school box set that uh, goes for quite a bit of money, so definitely not going to be getting that. But um, other than that, all these build figures go very well with these standard release characters. And I think this is a good way to wrap up the video with Strong Guy. Uh, next to the rest of the X-Factor crew. Um, great variety of characters as well as characters that we received within the past two years. Nice job by Hasbro to get this team finished for the most part. And all those X-Logos look pretty good together. So that will do it. Um, definitely impressed with this wave, but for the most part, this is definitely one of those build-a-figure waves, if you ask me, other than Warpath and Maverick. So if you guys see this wave, definitely suggest grabbing the whole case because this guy is worth it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Props to Hasbro on getting this team finished for the most part.